hello youtube welcome back to the channel so in today's tutorial we're going to continue with our uh, introduction to game development using uh, python uh, python's library pygame so if you're anyone with new uh, to get to computer programming or you know the basics of programming and you want to build a simple project around a game or playing a video game using python uh, then this tutorial is for you so in this tutorial we're going to go ahead and build a simple space invader game so we've already started uh, the last we have covered already three tutorials so this is the fourth tutorial and this tutorial we're going to go ahead and deal with the player movement and how to move the player around and how to uh, how to move the player basing on different uh, buttons that the user presses okay that's what, what that's what you're going to be implementing in the uh, in this uh, uh, in this video specifically so what i want us to go ahead and look like again if you're not guys you're not uh, new, if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed the community kindly join consider joining the community and subscribe to the youtube channel i create videos on python data science web development building back end applications apis and stuff like that so if you're interested in those things kindly consider subscribing okay Thank you for that and uh, enough of the long introduction so we can just go ahead and actually look at uh, what you're trying to do so we're going to be looking at uh, how to move the player around so i want to press well, i want when i press the left arrow key the player should move to the left of the screen when i press the right arrow key the player should move to the right of the screen right so right now we have this kind of setup where our, our, our player image is just being static and doesn't respond to anything right so i want us to go ahead and add some functionality to be able to move the player around so you can see this simple diagram if you move to the right then you need to increase the x value if you move to the left then you need to decrease the x value right so we're not going to be, we can even inc you can even uh, uh incorporate the concept of moving uh, forward or backwards but in this tutorial i'm not going to go ahead and do that i'm only going to cover moving to the left or to the right but once you learn how to move to the left or to the right then you can also move to the up or down okay so um again okay, remember the remember the how this screen works right uh, the gaming screen so up here is zero zero and then going to the right is uh increases okay and then going to the bottom where the y the y increases instead of decreasing like a normal standard uh, uh x and y axis okay coordinates so in this case we have uh so for us to be able when you press the right arrow key we want to increment the x uh, value for the y the, the player's position and if you press the left arrow key you want to decrement the x values uh, for the y position so what you're going to go ahead and do and let's go ahead and jump in so i'm going to go ahead I'm in, I'm in the folder that we are using so I'm just going to go ahead and open up my VS code feel free to to use any ed editor that you're comfortable using I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, VS code okay so once I have that done I'm just gonna close that so once I have this done uh, what I want to go ahead and do is implement the player movements okay so how do we go ahead and implement the player movement so uh i told you about game events we said game events in the uh, uh, previous tutorial so if you haven't watched those tutorials kindly go ahead and check about game events and game events i'll just keep it in short again game events are just any actions that take place in the, within the window of our game so whenever you are with the, within the window of our game and you press the right arrow key that's a game event when i press the right uh, left arrow key that's a game event when i press space that's a game event right so in the last row we use the game event to be able to quit right when a person clicks on the x uh next close button right here or the person to be able to quit when you pre press the escape button so this is what we're going to implement that's this is what we implemented in the last tutorials okay so now we're going to go ahead and implement more game events and for this game event you're going to be checking for the arrow presses like if a person press the, the, the up arrow key sorry or the left arrow key or the right arrow key you want to grab those uh actions and then uh, do something with those okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to go in here here checking for if any key has been pressed right so now you want to check if the the right the left key has been pressed i'm going to say if uh sorry let me get that right so if game event dot uh, key um equals equals to write by game sorry my bad let me just fix that typo so pi game dot uh this is going to be k uh the, the left uh key right so the left uh key underscore left just like that so if the left key has been pressed what you want to do is simply go ahead and simply i'm going to go ahead and change the player's position right change the player's position Let me get, for now i'm just going to keep pass here so we need to go ahead and change the player's position so i'm going to go up here i'm going to create a variable called uh i'm going to simply call it uh change in x position so we say change uh underscore in underscore uh x underscore position so change in x position and by default it's going to be zero so what you want to go ahead and do is i want to go down here and i want to say uh if the left arrow key has been pressed what you want to do let me just go back to the uh, presentation so if the left key has been pressed you want to decrement this file because you want the player's x value to decrease right to move closer to the left part of the screen so what you want to go ahead and do is i'm just going to go ahead and delete this and i'm going to go ahead and simply say uh change 
change in uh, exposition and you're going to go ahead and do this one you're going to simply use uh you're going to say equals to and you're going to minus uh use a negative sign because you want it to minus so you're going to use negative zero point uh let's say negative zero point seven so i want to move the player to the left by negative zero point seven right okay good so once once this fool is going to handle the left key now what about sorry the left arrow key now what about the right arrow key so i'm going to say if um I'm going to say if uh if game event right just like we did so if game event dot key is going to be equals equals to pi game dot uh key underscore right so you are going to check if the right key has been pressed and if the right key has been pressed you want to go ahead and do you're going to say change in exposition and you're going to simply say uh equals to uh we're going to now going to use 0 0.7 we're going to assign 0 0.7 to our exposition so how do we go ahead and increment or decrement this value so the first thing we want to go ahead and do bef uh, before we decrement or apply this value to the actual player's position what i want to go ahead and do is to first of all i'm going to go ahead and um change the player's position so we're going to check if the key has been released and if the key has been released then you're going to apply either this value or this value meaning that whenever you press the the, the right arrow key right so we want to we want you to release the right arrow key first before we add 0 0.7 to the exposition of the player so that's what you want to go ahead and do and uh, the same concept applies to the uh, when pressing the left arrow key so we're going to go ahead and simply say when you say check uh check uh this is a check for key keystroke let's say keystroke uh keystroke uh release or something yeah so check for keystroke uh, release uh, and then what you want to go ahead and do you're going to say if game event dot uh if game event equals equals to uh pi game dot uh key key up so we're going to check if key up we're going to check key down because uh previously we we're checking key down so here we're going to go ahead and check key up so make sure that the the if statement is this if statement is not within this if statement because this we're checking the key down and here we're checking if the key has been released okay so if the key has been released what you want to go ahead and you're going to check if game event dot uh, key right equals equals to uh pi game we're going to check which key has been released so if it goes to pi game dot uh key uh, dot left key we're going to check if either the left key underscore uh, left or we're going to check if uh game event dot key uh equals equals to right pi game dot uh key is going to be the right key we're going to check if the the right or the left key has been released what you want to go ahead and do we're going to say change in uh position you're going to simply assign it back to zero so as long as the key is being pressed you're going to continue continuously move the player once the key has been released has been released you're going to simply say change in uh change in the exposition you're going to now give it to zero means you don't want to move the player anymore because the key which has been which has been pressed has been now released okay so here if any person press the key you're going to apply these values and if a person releases the key you're going to set that back to zero so that you don't move the player anymore okay good so once we have that done what you simply want to go ahead and do is now uh go ahead and simply um uh, uh, apply these values to the other uh, player itself so if you go up you can see we have the player x and the player y so i want to apply these values to it because these values are the one which controls the player's x position and the player's y position because you can see we are blitting this image using this x and y value on our coordinate system and i explained all this in the last uh, tutorial so if you haven't checked out you can go ahead and check that out so what i want to go ahead and do here i'm going to, going to go ahead and simply say uh what i'm going to say going to say add uh that's what i want to do uh, so what i want to go ahead and do is simply say you're going to simply say uh change in the player's position so we're going to go ahead and simply change in the player's position so this should be called after the screen uh, field okay so this should be called after the screen field uh so that um the player can appear above the the drawing rather than below the drawing because here you are, you are, you are filling it with, an, uh, with a color right so these colors come in different layers so if you apply the movement uh the movement before then it the player won't show above the background so the player, the player will show below the background so i want to apply the 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 movement after the background so that it can uh the, it, it can show up on top so what i'm going to go ahead and simply do in here i'm just going to go ahead and change the values right here that's why that, that's the reason why we, we need to display the player here okay so if you move this blitz skin up here ab above this field then the player will be below so you can even move it up and then try that out but what you, uh what uh, that's why we need to up, uh, put these values right here that's something i did explain to you in the last tutorial okay so um so this one will make sure that the player uh, there is a background field and now the player is on top of the background that's another way you can think of it right okay so now i'm going to go ahead and now apply the player movement so change in the x and change in the y so what i'm going to go ahead and simply do is uh, we need to go ahead and simply say the player and then we're going to uh change the value so i'm going to go down here and then let me just keep the players uh functionality below this blitz screen part so i'm going to simply say player 
uh, uh, x, right? You're going to get the x value. So player x, right? You're going to say player x, player x equals to be plus equals to change in the y x, uh, the, uh, the x position. So the player's current y x value is going to be plus or e plus or minus the value depending on whether the person press the left arrow key or the right arrow key. Once we do that, you're going to now blitz the player again. So good. So once we have this, now we can see that we're not applying this value anymore to the uh, to the point where the player is being played. So now we can go ahead and simply pass in here. We want to play, say player, uh, player X, and then you're going to say player, uh, player. So I'm get a player Y here, just like that. So now I need to go down here and simply pass in those values. So I'm going to say uh, player because we want those values to change for player X, and then you're also going to say uh, player Y did not change, so it to just be the same player. Uh, 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 player y value that we have we set above here okay right here because we want the player to be to not be able to move up and down you just want it to remain uh, on the x uh, on the y uh, on the y axis the coordinate should be the same and not change so what that should be done so let me just save this and let me just go ahead let me just close this up so i'm going to go by ahead go into my terminal and then simply uh let me just go ahead and simply say python 3 and then uh, need to activate my virtual environment so i'm going to say source so make sure that you have your virtual environment activated vnv for slash uh bin for slash activate and it's only going to work for uh, this command and i explained to you how to uh how this command is only going to work for linux right and macbook so if you're on windows the, uh, the command to activate your virtual environments is different so uh, you can check the previous tutorial where we went over this okay so once i have that i need to do python 3 and then main.py and then simply run the file so once it's running so let me just go ahead and press the key now you can see our player is moving around right so our player is moving all fine so now you can see right now uh it's moving around uh, but you can see it moving out of the screen and when, I, when I'm not even pressing it it continues the player continue continuously move even uh, even though I'm not pressing the key okay so now let's go ahead and actually go ahead and uh, solve this so uh, make sure that the, this key make sure that I got the code here right so uh, okay so we have this if statement to check if the player if the key has been down and we check which key has been down and we do uh coordinately based on those whether it's left key we minus when it's right key we add we simply add right and then uh, we're going to check if the key has been released and if the key has been released a uh, key up then what we're going to do we're going to check if game.key equals to left key or game.key equals equals to the right key and if that's the case you're going to simply say the chain in position uh back to zero but that does not seem to be happening because if i go ahead and run the game again so if i run it ag again and i press right i just press it once but it continuously moves okay so that's an issue that we have right now so it's probably in our code and our implementation so let's go ahead and, and solve that issue okay guys so now i look at the code closely and i, I spot we made a mistake very simple mistake that we made so you can see right here uh you have to check the key type if it's a key down or key up so i just say game event dot equals so that's why it was never even working in the first place you have to say you have to say simply say type right so you want to check if the game event type is a key down or a key down type so that's my error so we have to make sure that here, here it is uh type okay once i have that let me just run the code again and now we shouldn't have that error so now it should work so when i press right it goes uh, up and down so once I, I made an error right there and i did check uh i didn't check the type of the key i was just checking if the game event is solved we just checking the game event type whether it was an up uh, a key up or a key down uh, event type okay so once we have this done now our game works perfectly so now our, our player has uh, movement so you can see you can move all the way okay so our player can move all the way but what you can notice is that you can move out of the screen so uh, how do we make sure the player doesn't move out of the screen because we don't want the player moving out of the screen right so you can see right now it's moving out of the screen so how do we prevent this from happening so let's go ahead and let me just show you how we can uh, prevent this from happening okay so uh, we need to set boundaries for this so it means that player we don't want the player to go let me just go back to my diagrams and then let me just show you we don't want the player to exceed about 900 and uh, 900 of, of x and then also zero of x so we want to limit that the, the, the player between those boundaries so let's go ahead and actually go ahead and set those boundaries and i'm going to do that uh just i'm going to do that above this okay so don't do this uh don't do the code that i'm going to write don't write it above make sure that you make sure that you write it above this line don't write it below this line okay so always make sure that you have that code above that line okay and i have a semicolon right here let me just delete it in python we don't use a semicolon so i'm going to go, going to go here and say add uh some uh, boundaries okay so awesome bound boundaries just like that and what you're going, going to do i'm going to say if uh player if player x right if player x uh is less or equals to zero right what you're going to do means that means that the player cannot go above the zero coordinate so if i go back here the player cannot go beyond here that's what you're going to check okay 
So I'm uh, going to check if the player is less or equals to zero. We're going to do again say player. We're going to reset the player's position back to zero. Okay, so a player x will be equals uh, equals to zero. So whenever a person is trying to go outside of the screen, and it, then whenever it reaches zero, we're going to set it back to z whenever it uh, it try to reach go above the screen. Whenever it reaches point zero, means that the player moves until point zero. We're going to reset it back to point zero to prevent it from getting out of the screen. That's what that's what uh, we are trying to implement right here. And you're going to go ahead and simply check again. Um, you're going to check. Uh, you're going to say uh, else if you're going to use an else uh, else if. Um, L if let me get that right. So L if uh, player x player x we're going to check the player x value. Its value is uh, greater or equals to. Now let me just go back and, and, and explain to you here. So we don't want the player to go above certain points right here. Okay. So now let's go ahead and actually say just 900. Let's check if the player uh, the a plus x position is greater than 900. Right. So that should prevent the player from going out of our screen. Right. So now let's go back in here. Let me say just say player uh, player x right player x and the player x value should set it back to let's say 900 okay so if the player tries to go below above 900 we set it back back to 900 to prevent the player from going above the screen this happens so fast that our eyes won't realize the setting back to uh, the 900 or the zero coordinates for the x-axis okay so uh, once i have this done let me just go back ahead and uh, let me run the code one more time and then run the code so now you can see you can go here so now you can see I can't go above, uh, be above, uh, the, the, ab out of the screen to the left. Now let's try to the, the the right one and let's see what happens. So yeah, the right we will go above the right screen. So you can see clearly goes above it. So uh, what do we need to do to make sure that this works? So let me just exit out. Let's go back to the code and let me explain to you right here. So we're checking if the player, the player's x value, right, is uh is is greater or less than nine hundred. And if that's a true, uh, if that's the case, we're setting it back to we're setting it back to 900. But for now, if you if you try to do that, that does does doesn't work for us. The reason why this does not work for us is because we're not considering the size of that player is player's image itself. So what we need to do, uh, go ahead and do. Let me just reduce this number to about 800, and let's see the effects of that. Let me just change this number to about 800 and uh, let's see uh, how it goes about so make sure we have to factor in the size of the image so remember but remember that whenever i was telling about the player's image so if i bring it right here this is the player's image it's a 64 pixel image 64 by 64 pixel image so we have to make sure we subtract that 64 from the uh, other end of the screen to prevent the player from going all the way above the screen because if you just use 900 then that won't work just to demonstrate this to you i'm just going to go into my terminal and then run the code again so if i run the code and now let me go to the left and let's see what happens so you can see now it doesn't go above right so we need to subtract the players uh, x values uh, sorry the players uh, sizes for only when you're talking about the y but for the uh, for when you're talking about the x axis going to the right but if you're going to the left then that sh it, 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 uh, it isn't an issue for us but if it if you're talking about uh, moving towards the right direction then that's an issue for us we have to consider the size of the image so right now you can see i cannot move above it but you can see we still have uh, some space let me just bring this as you can see uh, you can, can see clearly so you can see we still have some spaces right here so how do we go ahead solving this issue so the easiest way is to just simply do the math and then find this value so right now our image our image is a 9 uh, f uh, 64 pixel image right so if we just go ahead and do uh, 900 minus around uh, 64 we should now get a given value right which will be uh, 836 so if i do it it'll be 836 uh, pixel image so 836 so mean that the player should not go above 836 in the y direction in the in the x direction towards the right uh, the right side of the screen so now we should go ahead and change this to be uh, 836 okay and then change this back to be also be 8 uh, 836 so this will always make sure, always make sure that the player does not go out of the screen okay and this might be a bit uh, difficult uh, to maybe to afford to, to understand maybe especially when you're starting out so just take some time look at this graph and simply take a pen and a paper and try to do the calculations and uh, it will make clear uh, clear sense to you basically this is a 64 year pixel image so we have to take this minus that 64 uh, to make sure that uh, the end point of the of the screen in which the player can go to and not above it so if you just use 900 then the player will be able to go outside of the screen as you have seen earlier on okay so once we have that uh, explanation out of the way let's run the code again and hopefully let's see how it works so let's go ahead all the way to the right now you can see we are just at the 
right edge of the screen and you can also move all the way to the left and you just at the left edge of the screen so all that works as, as expected so you can apply the same concept of moving left and right to move on up and down uh, if you want or you can just apply it for practice so that's basically what i wanted us to cover uh, in this section so in the next section you're going to go ahead and simply go uh, and learn how to add a uh, different enemies to the screen because right now uh, we have our, our player being able to move around now we're going to go ahead and add enemies to the screen and then uh later on we'll be able to shoot down these enemies and then get scores and all that okay so that, that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial so guys uh thanks for watching if you're gonna, if you're not subscribed to the youtube channel yes please kindly consider subscribing liking this video and sharing the content with anyone who you think might find it helpful thanks for watching and see you in the next one keep safe